Hi there, Michelle with Crafty Servings. So I'm going to kick off my Christmas in July with cash here. Hiding as usual under my table. You're going to come out and say hi. You're going to come out and say hi. He's just sort of hanging out here. I did just um, pass me on in my page. All right. Christmas in July, I started cutting out some, some new ornament kits. I've got two kits here, two reindeer kits. All right, they're both in my Etsy shop now. Um, let me just put them together so you can have an idea of what they'll look like. And then we'll go ahead and paint them. They're cute, cute, cute. And they're nice size. They're really nice size. All right, this is one of them. It's a cute. We're gonna paint that up. I need pictures for my Etsy shop. So we're gonna paint that up. Let me pull this open here. See, I think I'll put this in the middle. We'll decide when after I get it all painted. And this is the other one. This one is nice and cute and big. And don't you think these would look super, super cute as garlands? I mean, it, it takes, it would take several of them. So, you know, cost wise, it's a little bit more, but they would make super in garlands or on wreaths, anything like that. So, all right, we are going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to set them up here. Aren't they super cute? All right. Um, okay. Let me just put this aside. This aside, those would be my greens and my reds. Um, we'll do that. This will be my black nose. Um, this will be this. Uh, this will probably be white. Or, or I might go with like a French vanilla. I think French vanilla for that. We're gonna, okay, these are my colors for today. So I, they're all the browns. They, I've got cocoa, milk chocolate. Um, these are actually all deco art except for the French vanilla. Um, black, snow white, raw umber. I'm not sure I'm going to use the snow white now because I do like the idea of using this French vanilla and the raw umber here. Those are my colors for today. They're sort of toned down. Um, all right, so I'm going to take this off and this off. And what color should we do this sock? I think, I think, um, what color should I do this, do, should I do the sock? What do you think? What would you like? Um, give me, throw out some ideas. Okay, I'm using all these browns, so I need the sock. I could do a red, you know what? Let's do a really pretty, let's do a real pretty red. Like, um, not, not a too bright a red. Let's do, let's do this Tuscan red, the Apple Barrel Tuscan red. Oh, some kind of blue, some kind of blue. Is that what you're thinking? Or I've got here another Tuscan red. Here's the home decor Tuscan red. What do you think? What do you think? Give me some more ideas, okay? Give me some more ideas. I definitely can. I I can work with whatever you guys come up with. Greens would be pretty, but we'll have greens on the greenery here, and I will have red on the berries. So give me some ideas. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna start with this cocoa, and I'm going to do the base of the deer. I'm going to do a little bit. I'm going to lighten it up a little bit here. Oh, I need my tray. I need my paint tray. You know, for as organized as I think I am, I learn I'm not. 
I'm not. I thought I was ready. Barn red? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking almost... This is a little dark. We'll, we'll, play, we'll play on that. I, I do like the idea of red. But yeah, I think I'm so organized and then I'm not. Hello, Carol. I'm glad you caught me live too. All right, this is the cocoa, and I might lighten it up just a little bit to do on here too. We'll see. I, I may do it the same color. We'll see. All right, let's just get a brush out here. Just a light color. The antlers, I'm going to do a little bit darker. You know what? This is making a lot of noise. If I can't keep that up, I'll take it off. But it matches. And I got this from one of my sweet followers. It's, it's so pretty. Janice, you know who you are. I know she has a lot of health issues she doesn't get on very much at all. Do the ears also. So this is just a light color. You know what? I think I'm going to do the muff. I don't know what you call it. What do you call it? Um, this part. I'm going to do that too. And then I can add some lighter highlighting in the middle. I think that's what we'll do. You know what though? I'm going to add just a tad. Just a tad of French vanilla in there. Muzzle or snout? Muzzle, that's what I was thinking of too. Just going to lighten that up just a little bit for on here. It's not mixed in very good, so it's leaving streaks. Just lighten that up a little bit. Y'all having a good day? Hello, Vicki. How y'all doing? All right. I really think I can get away with just one color or just one coat of this because it's such a light brown background. All right, got that, got that. Oh, I think that's gonna look really cute on there, okay. Let's do the same on here. Let's do this first. It's a hot one. You guys have all been having such hot weather. And I have to tell you, our weather here in Wisconsin this year has been crazy pleasant. I can't even, I, today it's 75 degrees, like no humidity. It is crazy. Our lawns are green. They're beautiful. We've had a lot of rain, a lot of rain. And I know a lot of you need rain. I just, it is so unusual this year. By this time, we usually have brown, crispy lawns. All right, that one's good. Um, it, I just, I can't even, it, I can't complain at all. We've had a couple, maybe just a couple hot days, hot, humid days, but a couple. That's it. It is heavenly, Carol. I can't even describe it. Hello, Cynthia. It, it just, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, Vicki. All right. 
All right, in this one, we're going to carry this down. Let me just show you, because this is the brim of the, the top of the um, sock. So we're going to make sure that's down low enough, just in this middle. I don't think these will take long. I say that every time, don't I? I, I always say, this isn't going to take long. And then it does. But I'm, I'll try. I'll try. We're going to keep going, all right? Okay. That is such a pretty color for a deer. All right, and we got that and that. Now we, oh, we need the tops of his hooves are going to be this color also. And then we're going to do darker on there and on the antlers. I do not need two coats. It, it's it's such a it's such good coverage. All right. So next we're going to do milk chocolate. Do I want milk chocolate? No, milk chocolate. I think is going to be my highlight. Let's do like a raw umber. Let's see if I just have something a little bit darker, not quite raw umber. Let's do this real brown for on the hooves and the antlers. 89.4 feels like 102. I mean, we normally have it so humid. Um, it, it just, I, I just can't even explain how beautiful it is. I, my door is open. You can hear my wind chimes, maybe. Um, there's such a beautiful breeze out. And um, it's just gorgeous, gorgeous. Yes, you've got to love reindeer, especially for you. Do you, so do you have actual reindeers up there, Kathy? <laughs> Kathy's from Alaska. I don't know. They're in there. Where is their primary climate? Does anybody know? I should have Googled that. I should have Googled that. I mean, we have them in zoos around here. That's about it. All right. Let's just pick up. It's pretty dark, but it's okay. Brush is really, really big for this, but cute. I should tip you down a little bit. There, is that better? There, is that better? All right, and that one. Hello, Norma. So there's different things you can do with this. Like I said, you can certainly put it um, just as a Christmas ornament. If you get multiple of them, but I know that would get to be a costly garland, but it, these would be simply adorable on a garland. Um, or you could put them on a wreath. If you're a wreath maker, that would be really cute. Present toppers, you know, a lot of people give ornaments for Christmas and they put them like as a present topper. Cute. This is, this is a really easy kit too. I am gonna do highlighting. It's a nice brown. There is a North Pole, Alaska that has a Santa village. They have reindeer. See, and I know there's people around here that have reindeer, but I don't know that, I know that they're not meant to be here. I mean, they're, they're, this is not their normal location. That sounds like a cool place though. North Pole, Alaska. 
so are you saying that they that they they just live there or is it more like a zoo and, and or um you know a climate where they bring them in somebody needs to google it and let us know all right okay i think that's all the dark brown we need did we figure out the sock i think it's going to be red Let's find a, a pretty red, a pretty red. Let's be burgundy, Georgia clay, rock, rockwood, rockwood red. We could do a country red. It's a little bit bright. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this Tuscan red. For the sock for the sack and the berries thank you thank you so much coming to you but we are going to have a lot of ice cream no i didn't debbie i didn't can you message me where that's going to be sounds amazing I don't know that I'm happy with that red. I want, I want more red. Do you hear this? It's, I'm sorry if you do. I fell and hurt my right knee, sprained it. Oh, prayers for you. I hope you heal. Oh, I'm, I'm excited for you. Thank you so much for the purchase. Oh gosh. Okay, I like this better. This Tuscan red, the apple barrel one, I like that color. I just like it. Um, I did try, it was the um, folk art, I think it was. And that was, I mean, look at the difference. It's, this one is a little bit more orange. So I don't want that. Yeah, it was the folk art home decor. I decided not that. It's a little bit orange. Okay, let's get a smaller brush here. yeah i like that it's such a warm color and we can tone it down a little um by just doing a little um highlighting in the middle the colors are just so pretty they're so pretty now, if you're going to give this for gifting, you do want to paint the front and the back. So, and it's okay, like, sometimes what I would do is just paint the whole back of it black. Or, like, in this case, maybe the whole back of it brown. Um, just to finish it off. Let's do these berries. Oh, now I picked up the wrong color. Definitely a difference. You're welcome, Sharon. Hello, Chris. Minnesota, we're in the whole town is Christmas and all the time. That is so cool, Kathy. There's a uh, place near here that they call the North Pole too, but that's like from I think beginning in November to. Um, to Christmas and they have they such a huge light display I mean we have a lot of that around here but this place I think they call the North Pole or Santa's something um, and I think they even have reindeer there and they also have um, well the music playing all the time but it's like a, a little village that they set up in their yard and people and all the donations go for different charities or different like people that really needed help um that something happened in this past year to them that they their family needed help so um it's really a, for a good cause too all right so we've got the greens let's get our greens out 
I love this new leaf green. And let's go with maybe this this fresh foliage. Those two, we might add a little bit of dark after. Thank you, Chris. I'm ready to change that out. I am ready to change it. So I don't know that you can see. I got two of them up there right now. I have the one is a kit and the other one is strawberry. It was a kit too, um, but that one didn't have the strawberry one. It was just the strawberries. The other one has everything that you need um, to put that one together. But um, all right, so let's do dark. Let's do the let's do this leaf green. <laughs> that necklace seems like it's like or this bracelet I should say. We'll do leaf green and we'll do this is fresh foliage. Now both are this fresh foliage is folk art. The leaf green is deco art. And then probably for highlighting, I'll be using this lush green. Okay, let me just get a little, just a little or brush. Oh, that's fun, Kathy. All right, I think we'll do. That is a pretty green too. I'm loving these colors. I love them all together. And you know, every one of these colors, I've been able to get away with one coat. That doesn't always happen. So I haven't even had to get the dryer out in between and add a second coat. that one it's a skinnier piece you just need a little paint on it and then we do and then we start the fun part doing a little bit of highlighting and adding a little bit of detail, maybe a little dots. We gotta add some blush for the cheeks. Can't forget that. And I even have my buttons here that we might end up adding a button on them. All right, so that is that green. You know, now that I'm saying it, I think this green needs a second coat. I'm seeing a little wood through. Everything else look good. Oh, that would be awesome, Kathy, if you could do that sometime. You know, even make a post, um, a post with it, Kathy. On Crafty Servings Crafting Club, make a post with it, or send me pics, and I can get them on here. I bet you it's so pretty there. Like, well, I suppose right now though it's light all the time, right? So the lights you don't see the lights as much because there's in Alaska real light out now all the time. All right. Okay, now let's get the lighter green out here for this one. Yeah. 
And this one. All right, and that I do think we're good with one coat. All right, so we got the sock. We need black and we need white yet. And then we're going to do some highlighting. So instead of the white, I'm going to use that French vanilla. I love French vanilla. These are our noses. I bet it's your favorite time of year, Kathy. I can't even imagine. But I can't imagine it being dark all the time either, like you get during the winter. Because you get, uh, like, long periods of dark, too, right? Um, all right. Let me... This is French vanilla. Uh, it's a folk art. This one will need two coats. I love when you guys talk between each other. Debbie's answering something there. <laughs> you want to see what fell? I had to move him because he because we have a fan in the way of him. But this is something I had got from my dad before my dad died, and he had it like probably probably like four or five years before he died, and he was sick for a long time. Um, but he loved it, and he always put it next to his bed. And then I was in mom's room after that at the assisted living, and now I have now I have him. So he's always looking at us. Now I even knock him over. I have a feeling I'm gonna knock him again. Isn't he cute? My dad always loves stuff like that. He loved things like that. He would have loved watching me do this. Especially if I did quirky things. All right. So we got that. We got that. We got that. Um, let's do... Let's do these noses just get another tiny little brush i have so many brushes in here right now yeah don't you love those wings and his little and his little antenna or even on springs too that they they go all crazy and um the, <laughs> he's just quirky he just as quirky oh and i love him so i said i gotta have him all right, let's get the black. Lamp black for the nose. Now, it doesn't seem like I have that many colors here, but holy cow, I have a whole bunch of colors sitting out here. But they all go together. This would be really pretty too if you would um, do do glitter on that sock. That would be really pretty. I was gonna do polka dots, do glitter over the top of that too. And some um, diamond dust. That would be beautiful on there. All right, so I've got everything base coated. Now I think we're going to do some highlighting. Let's start over here. <laughs> Your cat would go crazy over that. That's too funny. <laughs> um. All right. 
let's get this brush. And oh, I wanted to use this milk chocolate for around him. I should do the highlighting. No, I can do that after. A little more color there. I'm just going to do this all the way around. That'll help offset that on there. So I think I'm going to go a little darker on him, but let's do, let's do this. Finger got in here. Can you hear those birds? <laughs> I think they're blackbirds. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. This was a gift from one of my followers. She sent it. It's sweet Janice. And then Janice has been so sick for so long, and she still thought of me. <laughs> I just have sweet, sweet, sweet people who just support me all the time on here. All of you are just amazing. All right. Do you hear those birds? <laughs> Do you hear them? So that's going to go on there. That's going to go on there. I think that's it. Okay. Let's get, let's get a little bit on here. Let's see, what color? I think that's too dark. I wonder if I have, the dark chocolate might work. Dark chocolate. I think we'll try that. It's not quite as dark as that umber. Carol, you just practice it, or Kathy, you just practice it. It reminds you of fall. We have birds like from early morning. I have that Merlin app, I think I've told you guys about. Uh, and the earliest morning, like 4.30, 5 o'clock, they're just going crazy out there. And you go out there with that Merlin app, you'll have like 10 sounds of birds all like within a half a minute. Oh, you know what? That's probably Blue Jays. No, you're right. That is the Blue Jays. That is. Well, there's some suet out there. Yeah, I think they're out of um, the bird sea, but there's suet out there. And they're pigs. Blue Jays are pigs. <laughs> they really are. But yeah, that's right. That that I bet you that is that is. Listen to them. And you know what? When you practice your highlighting like this, it's just paint. 
So if it doesn't look that good, just paint over it again. You may end up with quite a few layers, but it, it just takes a little practice. And you know what I'm using today instead of water? Is um, floating medium. I used to use that a lot and I decided I was going to use it again. It's a little more user friendly. It looks like I'm not connected. Did I freeze? I'm back. I don't know what's up with that. All right. I feel like I need a little more. I think that's gonna be cute. We'll, we'll put cheeks on him yet. All right, let's get a little bit of on here, but I think I need a smaller brush. I definitely don't have to do this highlighting or low lighting, whatever you call it. Um, you don't have to do it. You could even do, like I say all the time, you could just get a black marker and do dashes and dots and stuff and make it look really cute all the way around it. Um, or like with black or white, that would be cute. All right, and I don't need it at the bottom because the sock edge will go over the top of that. All right, and let's do these two. to pick up. It's not picking up. I need some more. There. Now it'll be. Now it'll be. All right. That and that and that. I do feel like that probably needed a second coat. But all right. Let's just go. Let's do... Let's do the greens. I've got lush green. We're going to do a little bit. Toll painting is amazing. Some people are so good at it. 
I have never really done it. I have never really done it. I, I don't think I would be that good because I do things that are just fun. All right. Okay, you're not going to see it much on there. Let's see if I can do it on here. Lush green, you don't see that much, but I think it's okay. I think I think it's all right. I don't know if you can see that. All right, but so if I would take a, just a dab of the black with that blush green, oh, that's way too much. I need to get a little. Hang on there. I don't know that I like that. <laughs> I don't know that I like that. Let's back that up. Get that green again. Uh, we might, you know, we maybe will do that in white. Okay, so let's do. Let's do. Should we do a little bit of that, just that red on there? So I just added a little bit of red on there. Carol, I'll betcha it's fun. All right, we got all of that. Now let's get in some... This is where I get messy. I'm going to dry brush a little bit that vanilla, like a lot of it off, a lot of it off. And we're still going to do some blush on these, on these cheeks, but that just adds a little more dimension to it. And this is going to be up here. Uh, let's do a little in the ears. And I can add a little blush in there too. In this ear. Maybe even a little, and look how far this one load of brush went, even though I wiped almost all of it off. We didn't see it on there. Okay. 
Yes, Carol. Crafty Servings Crafting Club. Um, Kathy, you could put, a, can you pick up a copy that page and copy the link on here? I don't know if you can. If you can, go ahead and put a link right there. It's Crafty Servings Crafting Club, otherwise. It's a group. It's a free group. Goodness knows. I still have to figure out these leaves. That actually looks really pretty on here. Look at them. That looks pretty on there. Just see it on there. Okay, I think. Oh, you know what? It's on the sock. All right, that's that. Let's do, let's pick up a little bit of the, I love black on red. Let's just do that. Do I want black on red or do I want that umber? Maybe I want that umber. That's, I think it can be cute. Um, oh, let's do his cheeks right away. Do we want rosy pink, rosy pink? A little toned down this color, I think. Just a little. Okay, Kathy, that's okay. I think, um, I mean, if you just search Crafty Servings Crafting Club, I did share this live into there though. All right, so I just added, I don't even really see that pink on there, can you? All right, and let's just do a little bit. Oh, you can see it on the ear. You can see it on the ears. That's really cute. That's adorable on the ears. Okay. that a little brighter yet. There we go. There. Okay, we got that and that. Still got to figure out those leaves and I have to, and I'm going to do polka dots on, on the sock too. So let's do I'm going to do that brown just to blend it together. I know we have a black nose, but. <laughs> yeah, aren't the antlers cute? And we'll add our little dots again like we usually do. All right, let's, let's do a little bit of black. No, I was going to do the brown, right? Black. No. We're going to do black. Can you see better? Oh, 
All right, let's just... I see the black better on red. You see that? Just adds a little, little touch. Should put, um, I know what I'll do too. Ooh, this isn't working right. There, that's better. All right, so I do feel I need to do a little bit of a line going in here, and that will create that sock look. That'll create the sock look. Okay. This will be like this. I do feel I need a little coming across here, too. All right, we got that. Yeah, that just did the little sock look. And we'll do, let's do the polka dots on here right away. Um, we're going to use that French vanilla again. And that gives it a little chance to dry. Let's do bigger ones. That's not a circle. That's not a circle. I don't know. I don't know that I like the polka dots. Okay. Let's just add it. I'm going to get that a darker green yet. Um, Maybe this evergreen. I'm going to get a little bit of green on the outsides. I'm not going to actually highlight it. Just going to hit the edges. Just get a little brush here with this green. Just adds a little... And I don't want it covering what I did. Just on the edges. And it's sort of messy. I said this wasn't going to be long, and here I go again, right? 
keeping y'all on like this. Just a just a little sloppy, sloppy little mess on that. Round on the edges a little bit. These don't need much. Just to add a little color. All right, so let's do the little polka dots. I'm not crazy about this. So I'm going to put them all on each other, and then I'll add the polka dots. I guess I could even add the uh, glue it first and then add the polka dots. We could do that. I'm not crazy about those polka dots there. All right, let's just and then oh, we got to add eyes. Okay, so let's put this is going to be on here like this, and this is going to be on here like that. We'll put that together. I'm using the beacon three and one. I love that it gives you the opportunity to move it around a little bit. That's going to go up on, on him like that. I think on one side. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure that out. Okay, let's do this one. This is going to go on here like that. So we can go ahead and do that right away. can do that right away too. See how quick that sets up, but I can still move it around a little bit if we need to. So on some kits, you have to be careful, like if it shifts a little, you have to just move it a little bit. So it gives you that time to do that. In there. All right, let's put um, let's put this on. I think 
think too we might add just a little little bowl little glue coming out there Yeah, I got my three-in-one at Hobby Lobby. So I would guess any craft store probably has it. I use it a lot. I like the Beacon Fabric Tech too, but this one sets up a little faster. Fabric Tech sets up awesome on fabric, and it does honestly set up pretty fast with all of this. But I do like this. It's a little quicker. That's just really cute. All right, so this is going to go in there like that. Trying to see where it's actually going to touch. It's going to touch up here. And it's going to touch right at the bottom there. Strings. Now I can still shift this down a little if I need to. Not too much though, not too much. Okay, I have to do eyeballs on them too. That's just really super, super cute. We're gonna do eyeballs on him too. All right, let's get this one on. Make sure he's even. Not that his muzzle is tilted. I have no idea what that, <laughs> that is behind me. You know what? Oh, somebody maybe dumped some gravel or something. My neighbor. Do you hear that? All right. So, got that and that. This, so we can decide if it should go in the middle. Let's put on, um, first, let's do the eyeballs. We're just going to do two little eyeballs with black. Um... I'm just making them little lines and trying to eyeball. Oh, that's bigger than the other one. I like the other one better. Can you see the eyeballs on there? Let's do this one. Yep, those are backup beeps, but then there was something else. Like, I think they were dumping off, off gravel or something like that. Okay. I didn't glue that down yet. That's. I think I will put it in the middle. So let me just see. Do you like it on the side or the middle? Do you like that? Oh, I almost like it on the side. Do you like it on the side or the middle? This would be so cute sprayed with like a gloss. I normally I normally don't spray gloss on many things, but Christmas ornaments for some reason I I do gloss. I just I just like that look. Okay, so um, all right, so we need some more little white dots. Uh, or we'll do the French vanilla again. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I like the side too. I do think I like the side. This French vanilla is so thick. Okay. We're gonna do that. All right, let's just do Oh, it'd be cute on his cheeks, too. That slid way up. So, again, make sure you're checking that slid up. Let's just do, we're going to do little on his cheeks. Let's do bigger on here. Are you seeing what I'm doing? I'm sorry if you're not. Okay, that's looking really, really cute. All right, let's do, um, we need some on here. All right, and let's just add a little tiny, There. Yeah, the eyes definitely add to them. All right, let's. They're cute, right? They're cute. Do you want to see my ideas for hangers? Pretty soon we'll do random act of kindness drawing too. All right, so I think this would make a super cute hanger. Let's try this out. So I just put one knot on one side of, of this. I guess I don't want that sticking. They calling me. Okay. So this would make a really, really cute hanger. That's a super cute hanger. What do you think? Do you like that as a hanger? I think that I think that's cute. That one I can do with something a little different. I hope there's nothing that's going to smear on here. Let's pull a little tighter.
that is super cute. Let's take some of this string off of here. That one off. First of that one off. Isn't that, that is super, super cute. Thank you, Susan. This was a gift from one of my followers. Cash. I don't think anyone's here. Oh, thank you. Gosh, that's enough. All right, my other... So... If we do uh, gold would be really good. I only have that little piece that got stuck on here. I don't think anybody's here. It'd be too early for Larry to be home, I think. Maybe not. Here's the back side of a brush. Hi. Yeah, I think somebody I don't think Larry would be home yet. <laughs> All right. So I think we put, you know, put the little on top of there. Gold would be really cute, though, too. Let's get my cutter. I'll tell him when he comes out. Let's get this out of the way. The other thing you could do, you could use jute. Jute would be really cute. We could do a little jute bowl. And you know, maybe do a little, little kink in there. Let me get brush going. We'll wrap this. All right. So, and then this is so plat. This is from Dollar Tree, this wire. I love it. It's so pliable and flexible. But look at how cute that is for a hanger now, too. So you could do that. You could even put a little bead on there or something like that. You could do jute. Um, I love that hanger on and here's number two aren't they cute they're so sweet love them what do you think which is your favorite which is your favorite the big one or the sock let's say the sock or the other one which is your favorite I think they turned out so cute there's that one and there's that one I think the pink in the cheeks made a difference, right? The pink in the cheeks and the ears made a big difference. The sock one, the big one, it's sort of mixed up here, both. Yeah, super cute. Super, super cute. So that was my first Christmas in July. So first of, I hope, many more, many more, but I'm going to be starting to get my Christmas cutouts in my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go check out my Etsy shop. There's some leftovers from last year. In case you're new, you'll see some, some new ones out there. And a lot of times I have lives that show how I make them. So, okay, y'all have a good one and hope we'll see you really soon.